Hello guys, welcome to this channel. This is Ancient Gameplays and I'm Fabio Pisco. Who? A lot Cares. of people. Before starting today's video of the Adrenaline Review Drivers or the Adrenaline Drivers Review with all the chickens always quack quack and so on, let me just tell you two things. First thing is to, if you can and if you are interested, watch my previous video that I just released yesterday. I know that people don't watch those videos that much and most of my viewers aren't interested in those specific videos, especially now that everyone is talking about the LSS4 and so on and I will test the LSS4, don't worry. But if you can and if you are interested, just go to the video because that really helps the algorithm. And the second thing is basically that yes, I'm still and I will test the LSS4, so don't really worry. I will do it in several scenarios for you guys to see how it works even on older GPUs. As for today's video, we have the Adrenaline Drivers review and it feels like I haven't reviewed an Adrenaline Driver in like a couple of months and it was actually a month and something, so it kind of counts like two months, I guess. Doesn't really matter. Today we have the review of the 25.1.1 Adrenaline Drivers and as I say in all my videos, 25 is the year 2025, one is the month January and the other one is the first revision in that month, so the first revision of January. And the chickens just can't shut the fuck up. Also, we have to note that these are the first drivers in several months, and I mean really several months, that are optional instead of WHQL, which is basically the certification from Microsoft, if I'm correct. Um, so these ones are just optional, and they don't really bring m many things, but they do bring some interesting things in terms of game support. But for now, you can just support the sponsor. Today's video sponsor is GVG Mall, bringing you lots of software deals like Windows 10, Windows 11, Office 2019 or 2021 with a new Windows 11 design. And for all of these, you can use my SKG discount code for 30% off, getting a Windows 11 serial key for $22 and a Windows 10 one for only $15. Then use the key on your Windows settings and you'll have an activated system. So, release notes. Firstly, we start with the highlights with new game support for Marvel Spider-Man 2 and Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. And people always say that AMD doesn't really have drivers ready for the new games, for the new upcoming games. And in this case, Marvel Spider-Man 2 will be released on January 13th, I believe. No, the 30th. Um, so, so yeah, and we already have the, um, the driver, at least the optional driver with the new game support and the same for Final Fantasy VII. So it doesn't really happen for all games, but it seems that AMD's, AMD's team is now kind of back on track. And believe me, there, there will be some really interesting things in the next couple of months and in the next couple of the next couple driver versions, I mean. There will be some interesting things, so stay tuned. As for the fixed issues and improvements, we have two fixed issues, I believe. Improvements to performance while playing Apex Legends with the X12, which is the new the new standard API for Apex Legends, I believe, and lower than expected performance may be observed while using LM Studio on AMD Ryzen AI and Radeon products. But it's basically that, just support for new games and two fixed issues. As for the known issues, we still have some, sadly, with partial black screen may appear in main menu while playing Marvel Spider-Man 2, with Radeon Anti-Lag 2 and ray tracing enabled on AMD Ryzen 7000 and above series processors. Users experience this issue are are recommended to disable Radeon Anti-Lag 2 as a temporary workaround. So we know already that Anti-Lag 2 will be in Marvel Spider-Man and the game hasn't even released yet and we already have some known issues, but I believe that AMD might release some fix very soon. <clears throat> Sorry about that, some fix very soon. And it is interesting to note that Anti-Lag has actually issues not on the GPU side, but on the CPU side. So if you're using ray tracing with Anti-Lag anti 2 and the Ryzen 7000 series, not an RX 7000 series, you might have issues. Interesting how it goes with the CPU and not the GPU. Intermittent system or application crash may be observed while playing Final Fantasy VII Rebirth for long periods of time. Once again, an issue that happens with a game that has, or, or at least that should be released, I don't really know if it has been released already, but at least we do know that there are some issues and at least AMD is trying to fix them. Intermittent driver timeout or crash may be observed while playing Warhammer 40,000 Space Marine 2 on some AMD graphics products such as the AMD Ryzen AI 9 Ajax 370, Users experiencing this issue can enable variable graphics memory in AMD Software Adrenaline Edition as a temporary measure. And this is basically something that has been happening for quite some time, especially with this Ryzen AI 9 Ajax 370, but people with this 
processor or in this case this APU or this mobile processor won't be really playing Space Marine 2 because the, um, yeah, the power that this CPU has in terms of integrated graphics just isn't enough. And man, there are lots of cars today. It's, it's the cars, it's the chickens, it's the dog, it's the cat. Damn. Intermittent stutter may be observed while playing Marvel Rivals when AMD Fidelity FX Super Resolution 3 frame generation is enabled. Users experiencing this issue are recommended to disable AMD Fidelity FX Super Resolution 3 frame generation in the per game settings as a temporary workaround. So yeah, if you're playing Marvel Rivals and you're having stutters with FSR 3 frame generation, the fix is not using FSR 3 frame generation. So basically, yeah. <laughs> After using the AMD cleanup utility for Windows, the AMD bug report tool may appear intermittently during a new driver install on AMD Ryzen 7000 and above series processors paired with AMD graphics products. So an issue basically if you're just having a Ryzen 7000 series with an AMD graphics product. And the last known issue is AGVC encoding or H.265 may not work as expected while using OBS Studio with twitched enhanced broadcasting. And we all know that Twitch has some twitches here and there. Twitch seems to be kind of using I believe AV1 right now, so if you have a Ryzen, not a Ryzen, but if you have um, a Radeon 7000 series, you can use AV1. If you have an older card, yeah, you need to use AVC, which is considerably worse than AGVC, but well, the world won't end, I guess, and you can use older driver versions if you want to as well. Still an annoying bug, lots of known issues that need to be fixed ASAP, but yeah, the, um, the AGVC bug, and I believe that the uh, one for... The one for Warhammer has been here for quite some time, but the other ones are new ones, so AMD kind of found them and are working on fixing them, which is great. As for the fixed issues, we only have two, and the new game support, of course, for Marvel Spider-Man 2 and Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. As for the things that I found with these drivers, well, the drivers bring so little that I actually didn't find anything besides the 7900 GRE that I tested having a bit more performance in PUBG. And in, in games where the CPU, or, or should I say, in games where we have uh, um, the game engine more CPU driven, it seems to have less stutters here and there, so on the 25.1.1, but I can't really say for sure, but at least on the 6800 and the 7900 GRE, in some case scenarios in games like PUBG, Fortnite, it seems like the gameplay is overall a little bit smoother. Nothing re really big or nothing that you will notice without seeing the FPS, the averages and the 1% lows, but usually it seems smoother. So people that were having issues with the 24.12.1 might see those issues fixed in terms of stuttering with the 25.1.1. In terms of Delta Force, um, I tested it a bit and it still works fine for my side. Uh, it doesn't work perfectly, but it does work fine. I don't really know what's your experience with those cards and these drivers, but again, leave a comment in the comment section and let us know if your card is performing really well with the 25.1.1, if your card is having stutters like it have with the with the 24.12.1, if, if that was the case, um, in terms of stutters, intermittent issues that you might have, like there were so many people talking about the 24.12.1 and some said that the drivers were great for their GPUs, some said that they were having issues and so on, but as for the 25.1.1, it seems that the issues are mostly fixed, at least in that regard, in that regard, because there are lots and lots of things to fix yet. And well, that's all for today's video, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and share this video, and don't forget, leave your comment in the comment section, because, as always, that really, really helps the channel, and we are here as a community, and we need to help each other. See you in the next video, guys. Cheers.